Hello, and welcome to Ask Kate, brought to you by the Children's Tumor Foundation. Today, we're going to talk about NF1 and puberty. I received a question from the mother of an eight-year-old girl who has NF1. She was diagnosed in infancy and has been overall mostly healthy. And at eight, they're starting to talk a little bit about puberty, um, changing bodies, growing up, and things like that. Mom reached out asking if there was anything in particular that she needed to talk with her daughter about or include in their conversation because of the fact that her daughter has NF1. So I'm going to talk about a couple of things today. Um, the first being um, growth, kind of growth velocity, height, size. Uh, so we know that in children with NF1 and adults with NF1, that in some cases they have what we call small stature, which is a, a kind of a fancy way of saying they tend to be a little bit shorter. So often in kids when they're young, they will be um, comparatively to the rest of their age group um, average height, and then they'll go through puberty and their, their height, they might not reach the maximum height that we would expect based on kind of the genetics of, of their parents, particularly if they have two unaffected parents who do not have NF1. Um, and so then maybe their parents are really tall and they, we make guesses about how tall a child will be based on their parents. Those guesses are, are just that, they're um, educated guesses. Uh, but for children with NF1, a lot of times they'll go through puberty and that kind of that growth velocity that um, will slow down and they'll end up having a maximum height that is maybe a bit shorter uh, than other adults around them. It's not often significant um, or a problem really in any way, uh, but it is something that has been noted. Uh, another thing that I talk a little bit about is um, the actual onset of puberty. So for some kids with NF1, we see delays in puberty, which means that they will go through puberty. Uh, girls will menstruate, boys will experience all of their body and voice changes that we anticipate in any child. Um, but for children with NF1, this can sometimes happen a little later than their peers. Uh, so if that does happen, then that's a good thing to know and not to be too concerned about. Um, and so that, you know, you can always warn your child if if they feel like they're not growing or they're not, you know, hitting some of those puberty markers that their peers are, not to worry. It might just be taking a little longer and that their body will catch up and will get there. Now, the flip side of both of these issues are essentially the opposite. So with growth, we can see that in children that have NF1, uh, sometimes we see precocious puberty um, or with growth, we see um, just big jumps in their growth. So you might know that when you go to the pediatrician and they measure your child, they'll often put them on uh, the growth chart. And so what we'll see if we're seeing that that big you know, jump in growth is that maybe a child has been tracking around, say, the 50th percentile, and then they go into their next visit and now suddenly they're up at the 90th percentile. Uh, what that means is that now they are taller than about 90% of children in, um, of their age. And so if we see a jump like that from one kind of curve that they've been steady at up to another one, uh, that might be a sign that we need to do a little investigating and um, go and see the NF expert, uh, whoever is doing, uh, kind of covering your child's NF care, uh, just to talk about if there might be something going on, uh, kind of an underlying issue. Uh, the second is what we call precocious puberty, as I mentioned, which just means um, very early puberty. So we might see this in children as young as five years old, um, showing signs of puberty with, um, you know, uh, the way having um, hair growing under the arms or in the genitals, uh, breast development, things of that nature. Um, and if we see that, that's also a sign that we need to do a little investigating. Now, the reason for both of these is that in children with NF1, we know that they are they do carry some risk of developing brain tumors, and the, the both of those things can be a sign of a tumor developing. Um, the reason we have puberty, the reason we go through puberty is because of hormones, which are chemical messengers that the brain sends out to the body to get the body to do the things that it needs to do. Um, and the, those messengers uh, can be inf impacted if there is a tumor that's developed in certain parts of the brain. And so if you see really early puberty signs, again, this is something a pediatrician should be picking up on as well. Or if you see uh, the, those big jumps in growth, and that one's tricky because kids grow and they grow at different rates and sometimes they grow a lot really, really quickly uh, and that's okay and that can be normal. So none of this is a hit the panic button. It's always just maybe we need to look into this, maybe talk to our NF doctor and make sure everything looks okay. So hopefully that's helpful. I know that puberty can be a scary and exciting time no matter the child. Um, and so if you have any questions, never hesitate to reach out to me. Um, you can always find me at my email, which is listed below, and I am happy to help. Thank you.